Alright, hey everyone, it's me Bark, and I'm here with the mod for Remote Alpha 17, and this is the Tangle Weed mod, but before I go into what it does, because you can kind of get a rough idea of what it does by from like just hearing the name, but before I go into the exact details of the mod, I just want to talk about something else that kind of has a little bit to do with it, but kind of not. So, now, if you've been watching my channel for, let's just say a month or two at this point, it's June now, put out the videos end of March, let's say about a month or two, you would have seen my my Rimmeld psychological uh, war videos and they're all about trying to get raiders to break before you before you get attacked, before violence happens. And obviously it wasn't very successful because every patch the raider gets buffed so in the old days of Rimmeld they used to have similar moods to this. Nowadays, they only break at extreme breaks, so it's below that. They never ever get wandering or anything like that, like sad wonder. They never get hiding room. Nothing. It's only extreme breaks. So to break raiders when they arrive, you need to actually decrease their mood down by like 70% roughly. So, I mean, obviously as the mood goes high, it's there, but it's, it, generally, it generally stagnates around here. So about 60 to 70%, percent you got to decrease that. Now that is basically impossible unless the fucking planets align and you get these magical powers that allow you to do that it is almost it is seemingly impossible how i did it in the video is that i had a psychic ship on the map so it was giving them a really really bad debuff and i equipped my colonists with tinfoil hats and although it did work it was like a 10 percent success rate which was not big enough you need a 25 to 30 percent success rate on breaking enemies to actually get them to stop raiding and that's a hectic number. That's like a massive, massive number to get. So no, unfortunately it didn't work the way I wanted to. It, was, it wasn't a complete failure, but yeah. But the, the idea is stuck with me. The idea of being able to break raiders before they get to your base. And I got that to work in my ultimate defense video, which is the best possible defense in Rimmeld, which I will be making a sequel to, by the way. But it is the best possible defense in Rimmeld. And in the world, that is just a base like that. Uh, not the whole base, obviously most of it is mountain, and at the top there, there's a little path that you go through, and it winds and winds and winds, and it goes like that, until you get to this cavern filled with machine guns. Forget about the machine guns. Inside the cavern, every second space was a dead body, at least it was supposed to leave a dead body there, and after that, it was a sandbag, so effectively, it was like this. Going down sandbag, let's say, let's pretend this muffalo is dead, okay, I just put it on top. Sandbag, dead muffalo, sandbag, sandbag, sandbag. You can use trunks. Obviously, I used sandbag because I was using dev mode when I made it. And they would have to hop, see dead body, get the debuff. Obviously, the body was rotten because it would take that long. Then go normal speed, hop, normal speed, hop, normal speed, hop. And then by the time they, they, they never made it to the machine guns in the tunnel because they would break by the time they got there because A, they, they, got, they got the negative 70 to 80% that you need or 60 to 70% that you needed. So it was fantastic. That base was actually unbreakable. The video got a lot of dislikes because I made it in dev mode. And fair enough, dude, you can dislike my videos for whatever you want. I don't mind at all. Um, but yeah, a lot of people were pissed off that I made it in dev mode, which is okay. But the idea worked. So the idea worked. And now I've been rambling on for like four minutes now about this stuff. So I just want to get to the point. That idea is stuck with me of breaking colonists before they attack you or raiders before they take attack you. I would love Rimworld to have a non-violent option. If you've ever played Dishonored or Deus Ex or anything like that, there's actually non-violent options. You don't even need to shoot people in that game in the original Deus Ex if you don't want to. Or not the original one, the Human Revolution one. You don't need to use a gun in the entire freaking game. You can literally get past everyone. Uh, except for the boss battles, unfortunately. But then they patched that out, so everything's okay now. But yeah, so this is the Tangle Weed mod. And what it does is it slows down raiders who walk over it. And on top of that, I also have the Brigello mod. You can see the bridges tab here. Why do I have the Brigello mod? I don't need any bridges. Well, you're right. Uh, this is deep moving water. And in the original Rim world in Alpha 17, deep moving water is impossible. In the bridges mod, it sets it to 1.3% walk speed. So let me bring a colonist here. And you can see the walk rate. So he climbs over the tangleweed, gets into the water. Wow. This is a super enhanced colonist, by the way. 12 CS, four time, I mean, three times the normal colonist speed. That's how long it takes him, at four times speed. 
and then he has to climb over the tangleweed, which also takes long. It doesn't actually tell me the exact movement rate for some dumb reason, but I'm, it looks to be about 30 to 40%. 30 to 40 percent. So I've set this here so colonists can pass over it, but when people attack me, they'll generally go this way. They'll probably walk over these ones here. Um, which is okay, it'll still get the job done. But yeah, so this is the Tangleweed mod. So let me actually explain exactly what it does. So you make a little growing zone, because I've made this little growing zone here just to show you, and you can actually make the Tangleweed vine here. If you go into the details, it tells you exactly what it does. It has a growing time of 11 days, so roughly about 22. Uh, for the normal colonist, because obviously needs to rest at night. Uh, lifespan of 66, which is amazing for this kind of plant. I mean, it's amazing because you can let it grow to full maturity and then leave it there. Because it's important to leave it there, because if you harvest it, you don't get anything. There's no harvest option, even at mature, because there is nothing to harvest. It's the same as grass. You cannot harvest grass. And that's pretty much it. It just slows down attackers. And the reason that I've gone on for so long is because I love the idea of having this. I really, really love the idea of this. Absolutely. Like, beyond. I just want... I wish that in Rimmel there were just non-violent options. So I'm gonna stop hopping on now. And I'm gonna... Let Colonists do their own thing. This is not a very good defense if you've just started playing Rimmel and this is the first video of mine that you've watched. Don't do this normally don't group them up too much because there is like a splash effect in guns but yeah okay so now i don't know for sure that they will raid in the right part because i haven't actually tested this raid setup yet with the water there uh where is it raid 3000 points there we go okay so here the raid come let's take a look they'll probably cross over like that but that's okay yeah Alright, they're actually- a few of them are stopping- Oh, they're stopping to set up fire, okay. Alright, I've never actually seen that before. There were only two fires, so what could've- What on earth could've happened? Alright, so let's try that again. Um, I can try set this up better to make sure they don't walk over it, but it's good to know that they set fire to it, that's nice. Alright, so I've gone and just like upped it up and just made it completely insane. You can use chunks or sandbags instead of the river water. I just use the river water because I'm going as extreme as possible. But uh, just a few things. The reason that you do want to use tangleweed instead of me just spamming river water is that people can climb over it. So once they climb up, say, once they climb up, say they come in this way. Once they climb up one of these, they can walk over the rest as if they're at that height level. It's almost like a Z axis, but not really. But yeah, alright, so put the people here. Let's hope they go straight for the top and not in the safe location, which is the bottom. But yeah, all this river water is just dumb. This is like 1% movement speed. Oh, 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 they're, they're clever. Clever tribes people. Nice. So eventually, apparently, these will do damage. So that would just damage them completely. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, wow. Oh, they line themselves on fire. Okay, so they did lit themselves on fire and then they walked over to try like these ones on fire and they kind of just started burning themselves and now... Oh wow. So I think we found an error, boys. And the 2% of girls that watch my stuff. But anyways, that's the mod. That's Tangleweed. I don't want to record this for too long because it literally is just a plant that slows down movement speed. I'm not gonna hype it up beyond that, but uh, it's just pretty cool. Interesting concept. I, I really like these sorts of things. Because it's good to get new dynamics to the game. It's good to get new dynamics. If you could possibly get this to work. So, I mean, we're not really killing them. They're kind of killing themselves now, but that makes me wonder if it's an error. I mean, this is ridiculous, but yeah. Okay. 
Anyways, have an amazing day, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hey, you. Thanks so much for making it to the end of my video. I really, really appreciate it. Editing videos is both my hobby and my passion. And with that in mind, I've decided to open up a Patreon if you'd like to support me besides in the amazing ways that my subscribers already usually do. I've got loads of perks and benefits, including having your own personally custom-made colonist being one of my default colonists in the mod showcases, special roles on Discord, joining me while I stream, monthly Q&As and podcasts, I've got it all, come take a look. All support is always appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out, and head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me. And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.